Hello, Chaos Nation. I'm Superintendent Brad Skirtich, and this week we're in Ms. Spila's class at the high school with the Olympiad team. And before they share a little bit about what they're working on for the upcoming competition, I want to ask everyone to extend their thoughts to the Covenant School in Nashville, Tennessee. And as a reminder to all of our students, families, and community members, if you have any concerns, questions, or ideas about safety and how we can improve, please do not hesitate to reach out. It takes a team effort to do this, and we are here to work together. Now I want everyone to hear from our Olympiad team at the high school who are working on a Wi-Fi antenna, uh, a timepiece, uh, directions on how to put things together, a mineral test, as well as a scrambler, a bridge, and an airplane. It's pretty impressive, but just as a reminder, there are a lot of things going on at Collinsville High School, from athletics to fine arts, and most importantly, our science Olympiad uh, competition team that's getting ready to go off here in a couple of days. All right, introduce yourselves and tell us the purpose of the bridge competition. Hi, I'm Yanche Boyd. I'm Karen Barbosa. And for our bridge, our goal is so that it's a simple design that doesn't weigh much and it can hold more than what it weighs. And um, if we can meet that goal, then we get a really good score and we can win. And our goal is 15 kilograms and we're almost somewhat there. All right. Hi, my name is Gus Dorman. I'm doing the Rocks and Minerals competition for Science Olympiad. So basically what we do is we have a list of 75 rocks and minerals that I'm looking at right here. These are all of them here as well. And basically just have to like be able to identify them and describe them like their hardness or if they're metamorphic sedimentary or igneous or like their luster and things. It's <laughs> good. Oh, I'm Guadalupe Garcia. Uh, the scrambler is basically a vehicle that we have to build and towards the end we have to attach an egg holder that's going to hold an egg and essentially we have to build a device that has a braking system that can be adjusted so that we can go a certain distance that in the competition we're going to be given. Um, the objective of the competition is um, to try to reach the required distance without cracking your egg. Introduce yourself and then tell us what you're working on with directions. Okay. Hi, my name is Fatima Gutierrez. And so I'm working on Ride It, Do It. And so basically I built this structure and while I built it, I had to write down the directions on a piece of paper. And my partner, um, which is my sister in this case, but she's gonna get the materials needed to build it. And then she has to go off of my instructions and try to kind of copy the design that I built already and we're going to see if like our communication skills are up for it. Uh, hi, I'm Sam Stuckey. And I'm Raven Clayton. Okay, so uh, we're a uh, part of the um, Wi-Fi lab for uh, Science Olympiad. Uh, the goal of this is to build an antenna that can uh, produce a signal that goes the farthest or makes the signal go the farthest. So uh, this is our antenna. It's really great. Uh, <laughs> Best we would quality. Attach, it is best quality, obviously. We would attach it to here and attach this to um, a router, and we'd see how far it goes based on uh, different trial and errors. Do you have any questions for us? Maybe how someone forgot the connector? <laughs> Hello, my name is Alexis Gaspin. Uh, hi, I'm Christian Torres. And this is the flight competition where we build a plane and we have to make it fly as long as possible in a circle. So to help it do that, we move the wings forward and backwards and tilt the, um, tilt the tail to make it turn. Um, the rubber band on the bottom is used to repel the, um, to repel the repeller. <laughs> um, and yeah. Well, you want to give us a demonstration? I can, yeah. As we are about to begin spring break on April 6th and it runs through April 10th, with students returning on April 11th, we want to wish all of our students, staff, and families a safe and enjoyable spring break with family and friends. And when we return on April 11th, shortly after that, Legally Blonde kicks off in the auditorium on April 13th and runs through the weekend. Don't forget to get your tickets and come out and support not only our Olympiads for the science competition, as well as our fine arts students. Thank you for your constant dedication to our students, and don't forget to wear your purple and show your chaotic pride.